Hello everyone and welcome to the first video in the series Deep Learning with Tabular Data. This is a very interesting series and in this I will tell you, show you how you can use deep learning approaches even if you have tabular data because as you probably know deep learning approaches were not made to be used with tabular data but data like images, text, documents or audio files are basically different types of data if, except tabular. So first I will tell you what exactly is deep learning, not exactly but I will give you a sort of an overview of what deep learning is and why you should use it. Deep learning is a subfield or a subset of machine learning or artificial intelligence. It is modeled after the structure and the function of the human brain or the animal brain and the animal brain has neural networks so deep learning has artificial neural networks so these neural networks they have different layers different nodes and they have connections between these different layers and these connections have weights and these weights determine what the decision will be what will the final value be that is predicted or generated by your network and these weights which are absolutely essential to the operation of a neural network of any neural network are updated while training by the process of backpropagation. It is a simple algorithm and superficially it's just a one line algorithm but if you go down deep it's actually pretty interesting and conceptual. Like the biggest advantage of deep learning is that, can, that it can perform almost, almost automatic feature selection, feature extraction from the raw, raw data and only may use that data to make predictions or generate a new value, classification or regression respectively. But it's all not roses, the path is entirely not full of roses, there are some pricks also, some pins also in deep learning. The biggest one being that it requires abundant amount of training data. Machine learning, it also needs a lot of data but deep learning eclipses machine learning in the amount of data that it needs to train and you know, just update the weights of these neural networks. Another, another con, possible con that we will in fact be addressing in this series is that the neural networks were developed to work with data like audio, text and images but not tabular data. However, if you do use deep learning approaches with tabular data, the results that you get are equal or even better than your traditional machine learning approaches and the results that you would get from those. Now let's talk about some famous deep learning or neural network architectures. These architectures are the ones that you most commonly hear about or read in the newspapers and news. So the first one, the hot topic nowadays are recurrent neural networks. So these neural networks take time series data as input and give the next value or the value at time t which is the present plus one which is the next instant. And the famous examples of such types of neural networks are GRUs and LSTMs. GRUs stand for gated recurrent units and LSTMs stand for long short term memory networks. Okay, so now RNN, now that we have a basic understanding of what RNN is, let us talk about convolutional neural, net neural networks, CNNs. These are also neural networks you hear a lot about in the news or in the media in general. They are used primarily with image data. There have been documented cases or documented uses of CNNs in different types of data, but image data is what the 99% of the folk use it for. And lastly, let us talk about multi-layered perceptrons or MLPs. MLPs are the simplest neural network architecture that you can think of. Basically just units all connected to each other and different layers. So let us now talk about what tabular data exactly is. Tabular data, I am sure you would have quite a good intuition of what tabular data is on the top right here. I have shown you a table that has 5 columns, date, plot, species, sex and weight and 9 or 10 values for each column. A table with 10, 11 rows and 5 columns. So table is just a representation of data. It is an arrangement of information or data. 
a table consists a two dimensional table consists of rows and columns rows are the horizontal and columns are vertical now this is just the two dimensional table that i've shown you on the top right of your screen here but there are three dimensional and four dimensional table tables also and they get more complex and new dimensions are added as you increase the dimensions obviously so tables are very widely used in industry and the world in general they are used in communication research data analytics and all sorts of different fields so you cannot escape tables basically is what i'm saying and if you want to analyze a lot of data or different types of data you have to be learned to analyze tabular data as well a table can be thought of as a two dimensional matrix and each row in the table can be thought of as a one dimensional matrix which is also known as a vector okay so now let us talk about what exactly is the objective of this series De deep learning with tabular data so we know that deep learning is very powerful and if you have the right amount of data it can give you very good results or metrics but not many neural network architectures or in fact 99 percent of the neural network architectures do not support tabular data natively pay attention to the word natively we will see how we can change this and feed tabular data in this series we will learn exactly how to do this how we can reshape and manipulate or just restructure our input tabular data to feed them to these powerful neural network architectures in the last video of the series we will talk about what is transfer learning and we will use transfer learning in the context of tabular data to increase the performance of our model manifold okay so that was all i had planned for this video i hope to see you in the next video please do comment your queries if you have any down in the comment section and subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified about our new releases and so that i know that people want these videos want such videos and i can continue helping you cheers